Okay, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Mark Ashmore, um, and I am the uh, technician, the puppeteer behind. I guess this is Mark Ashmore, the avatar. Although, as this practice goes on, we may end up changing the avatar and changing the name. But for now, this is a little introduction to the freely available software that um, is freely available for Generation Z to use to create avatars to broadcast them and um, to create them. So I'm gonna take you through three pieces of software um, which you need to do exactly what I'm doing now. Um, and we're gonna explore briefly how they work. And as you'll see on my blog, I've gone into a lot more detail, but this is just to show you what I'm describing in practice. So the software we're gonna be looking at is VROID Studio or ROID. I'm dyslexic, so pronouncing certain things can be tricky. Um, so that's where we make these characters. So this is where this chap comes from, where where I my avatar comes from. Um, then we've got VC face, which is what is capturing and powering and allowing me to uh, puppeteer this avatar. Um, we're going to look at that piece of software. And then we've got Open Broadcast Software, or OBS, which is how I'm capturing all this. So that's doing the picture-on-picture -picture of placing the avatar in the bottom corner of the screen there. And also, um, I've chosen to display web pages on my desktop. But obviously, you can broadcast anything into there. But I'm just looking at my desktop for the purposes of this. So let's go to where I was born first. Let's go check out, let's go check out that. So... Here we are, VROID, Void Studio, um, 3D character maker that lets you use your imagination to easily create your own original characters. So this is free software. You um, just download it uh, via Steam uh, on a PC. Um, takes about 10 minutes to load up. And, uh, and then you can go in there and start to, uh, to edit some, some characters. So this is, uh, you get some pre-selects when you arrive. Um, so as you can see, here's Mark Test with uh, with big ears, and the avatar I've chose to do this in is hair sample male. So I haven't created my own character, um, and I haven't even edited this one. This is straight off the shelf, and decided to do my presentation like this. But we could, for example, um, choose um, any of these to start with and and edit edit them, or we could. Uh, choose to um, make one from scratch. So using 2D drawing software and things like that. That's something I'm going to be exploring further down the line. But right now, I'm just trying to get to grips with the free software and understand it. So um, we're going to load up the uh, the free version of, of me. And I'm sort of going to show you the uh, avatar editor. And we'll explore it together. So this is... Uh, version two of me i guess the unanimated version of me and it's really simple to start editing uh, around with these uh with these avatars so that's just me on the mouse just scrolling forward on the on the um the the, the scroller ball on the top of the mouse in and out and uh you can uh, you can you can go around this character but let's just have a look at doing some simple editing so Let's look at the eyes. So I'll click the eyes and it gives me um, the face editor on this side where my mouse is. And then that selects all these options down the um, right hand side. So the easiest one to show you here is like eye width larger, which is currently a, a, a full 100%. If we scroll that down, you see that? See the eyes? They slightly go in ever so slightly. So let's zoom in a bit more so you can see that. See the eyes changing there? So it's subtle, but they're obviously the eyes. So you can do something with the distance. See them moving there? So you can really start to customize this avatar just by, let's put all the things upon the eyes. <laughs> Looks very strange. So it's very intuitive, very, very simple to use. You just click what you want and start to play about with it. So we've got eye shape. So 
So you can really get crazy with this. We, we can click on the mouth, play about with this. Make him sad. Happy. That's definitely sad. But you get the idea. This is an avatar editor. Whatever you place on there, these are fully rigged models. So they come with little skeletons inside and all the nodes. Um, and you can um, you can play about with it. So many different options. You can change the color of things and, and, and all that kind of stuff. You change the color of the lips there and things like that. So that's the face editor. And you jump into the hair editor which is here, obviously all in Chinese or Japanese, I'm unsure what those symbols are, but definitely not something I can understand. So through trial and error, you can create your own, um, your own avatar, which um, I'm currently in the process of doing. So this is the free avatar here, obviously, um, and uh, eventually I will pop up and be a completely new kind of avatar. So I'm just clicking on camera and exporter up here, um, and what we can do with that is um, it, it's it's as you can see that's blinking so because I'm blinking on my web camera and that's blinking there so it's quite meta because of this, this the computer is powering two of us <laughs> um, but let's just say that we've we've edited uh, the free model and we, we're, we're kind of happy with it so let's just say that we're happy with this model here we need to export it so that we can take it into another program. Um, and to do that, we just um, just go to file and save as, give the avatar a name, so test two, save it. Uh, and that's saved onto the desktop. Now, um, I'm gonna take it into another piece of software um, so that we can look at how we animate this. So this has now been saved and it's a very specific file name as well. So it's a VRM file, VRM. And those VRM files um, are what go into things like VR chat, um, that go into the program I'm about to show you, um, VC face, and uh, a bunch of other kind of programs that puppeteer and power avatars. So that's the file name that we that you want to be looking out for with, with this. So I'm just going to close this down. Um, so we're, the next program you need to know about is VC Face. So this is what is puppeteering this avatar right now. So again, another free piece of software. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the URL is up there. Um, it's dead straightforward to use. You just download it. Um, and also you can bring in, um, it uses your webcam to pick up your facial expressions. Um, and that's how it drives everything. Um, but you can also do um, hand tracking in here via the leap motion controller, which I've managed to just pick up. Um, so I have a leap motion. And in further vi videos, I'm gonna kind of show how that works. So you load up VFace, which um, I've already done. So I'm gonna bring this up now and this is vface so this is a simple thing here now i've got this i guess it's their like green screen so it just blanks out the background there but if we switch that off which is just here you can see <clears throat> the kind of control panel for this avatar so obviously when you're live um you uh you just click the little I haven't got my pointer highlighted here, um, but you just click the little, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a tiny little cross. Um, looking at it now with my nose. <laughs> uh, you just click that and it switches everything off and then switches everything back on there. So, <clears throat> okay. So you can select different avatars. Everything's pretty straightforward. Um, the reset position means that if I'm like that, it'll bring me straight back up so I don't have to come back into a position, so it sort of centers you. So um, smoothing is how I move. So how, so I'm moving my head quite fast now and 
it's making the model go really slowly and smoothly. So you can sort of adjust these settings to suit what your performance needs are because everybody's going to be kind of animating a, um, a character completely differently. Um, the movement range as well is like, it's going to go right over here or right over here or do you want to kind of restrict it? So doing those same movements. I can't get anywhere. <laughs> so I'm restricted because I've told the computer to restrict the model. So it depends on your performance. You know, you might be someone who likes to throw themselves around a lot and, and, and you maybe don't want your avatar to do that. So you can do the puppetry controls here to uh, slow it down. Uh, the drift speed is like how quickly it, it sends you back to the center. So we'll turn that right up. And back down again, do those same movements. So it just sort of slows you down a little bit. Um, VC face um, has, um, it's basically the puppeteering tool. So if you did have, uh, if you look here under uh, drift back to normal, it says track leap motion. If you click that button and you had a leap motion attached, I don't have that at the moment, you'd be able to bring the hands in. So at the moment you can see my hands are firmly by my sides. Um, but in, as I said in later videos, we're going to be moving those hands around. So um, to puppeteer this thing, I'm just moving my head a lot more, uh, blinking probably more than I should, and uh, expressing myself in other ways. Uh, but hands are really going to help with that expression really. So um, yeah, later videos be using hands and, and checking out Leap Motion there. So this is VC face. We've seen where I was born. We're seeing the kind of program that's um, puppeteering me. Um, so now let's look at um, uh, OBS. So this might get a bit weird because so this is the uh, OBS studio. So obsproject.com choose the one you want to go to and um, I'm going to open up that's kind of what it looks like um, what I can see I've got two monitors so monitor one is um, the desktop so that's whatever's behind the character um, and then OBS so I can see all the other windows and, and basically like a little TV studio is on my other monitor which is not being broadcast so but I will broadcast now my other monitor by dragging over what I'm using to broadcast into the desktop window and it'll create a weird mirroring effect but at least you'll be able to see what I can see so maybe that's a bit too much <laughs> um, so yeah um, I can control my voice which is the audio box mic and auxiliary below um, I've got different capture sources so I could if I, if I had other screens and tabs open, I could click through them. So very good if I'm doing a presentation or I'm, uh, I've am i got multiple video sources coming in. Um, and there's loads of other details in, in OBS. Now, I'm only starting to explore OBS, but it's an amazing piece of kit, especially for uh, for live broadcasts and things like that. And um, there you go. I just got a friend request for somebody on Fortnite there. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so OBS great piece of kit. I'm just getting used to uh, figuring out how it all works and I'll be doing later videos on that. So yeah, three pieces of software. You've got Vroid. Let's, let's um, minimize this down. Okay, you've got Vroid, uh, you've got VC face um, and you've got OBS. And that's all you need to begin the journey of creating a um, VTuber or a digital character. Um, like I said, in later videos, in later blogs, I'm gonna be looking at uh, hand tracking through the Leap Motion and how to get my puppet to do that. Um, I'm also working with a virtual VTuber artist to create my own bespoke um, avatar. So I'll, I'll be documenting that process and how I'm working with those, uh, those people. Um, and then we might get more technical on the OBS, looking at different ways of, of broadcasting and bringing um, um, different worlds into uh, interaction with my avatar, maybe interacting with other avatars and, and interviewing. Um, and then we will be looking at taking this avatar and putting it into a, a sort of a live situation so that it, um, I, I guess, hang out in the real world with either real human people or other avatars from other parts of the metaverse and, and world. 
So yeah, this is my first video. This is my first look at everything. Um, and like I say, there'll be more information uh, in the blog that this is posted onto. Um, so thank you very much. And I'll see you all, uh, see you all soon.